If your prime bulb doesn't work on your Echo trimmer, I'll show you how the check valves work. Here's a brand new carburetor that does work, and here's one disassembled that has the problem. These are the check valves that can go bad. I'll show you how to test To get to the prime base, we have to remove five screws. We'll remove these four to get to the prime bulb. This metal plate, pull it off. To access the prime base, there's this screw right here that needs to come out. We can remove it, and on the other side, there's the valves. This thin layer right here are the reed valves. This rubber part is the gasket, and this is the fuel pump area right here. Remove the gasket to get to the check valves. To verify that the check valves work, we're going to need a rubber hose. Insert it onto the barbed fitting. With the other end, you're going to suck air through this tube and blow. On this first valve, you should be able to suck air, but not blow any air at all. On this new valve, this is exactly the case. When I suck air in, you'll be able to hear the air move through. But when I blow, nothing. I can't blow any air at all. On the second check valve, if I put the tube on here, suck air or blow, I won't be able to get air in either direction. Put the tube on very tightly and try to suck air in and blow. Nothing. I find that this silicone tube is a lot more flexible and able to do this test a little better than a rubber hose. Now I'll show you a valve that has failed. I'll insert the hose in the exact same way. This check valve is bad because I can suck air and blow air. The second check valve tests out okay because I can't get air in or out of it. Nothing. Here's another prime base where the check valves are bad as well but in the opposite order. This first valve, I'm able to suck some air through it, and when I blow, a little bit comes out, but not much. It's hard to suck any air through it, but I can get some through. And when I blow, barely any comes out. I'll show you in the water. We'll put it in and give a little blow. You can see the bubbles coming out of there. I'll show you what happens with the brand new valve that's good. We'll do the exact same test with the new valve. We'll put it into the water and blow. Nothing. The valve is good. If I suck air through the tube, you'll see the water come up. See it? To try to open these valves up, I've soaked them in rubbing alcohol for about a week without any avail. Instead of just buying new check valves, I bought an entire carburetor kit for like $12 and it came with an air filter and tubes and a spark plug. I'll put these both back together so you can see how it works when it's functioning properly. When you put this back together, you don't have to go really hard, just snug them up. This time I'll put the hose on the other pipe, the bigger of the two. Now when I pump it, you can see the water just squirts out. I'll show you what happens when I put this non-working base on. We'll test this bad one in the exact same way. The first thing I notice is there's no squealing or any sound in here. I'll show you on the good one, you can hear a sound when you pump it. Now we'll test the bad one. We'll put it in the water and pump it. Nothing at all. You don't see any water squirting out this. I'll keep soaking the old ones for another week or so and see if I can recover them, but so far I haven't been able to. That's how you verify if the check valves are working on these prime bulbs. With the working prime pump, we'll install it. Remove the air filter cover. Remove the two carburetor bolts with a T25 Torx bit. Remove the air filter cleaner. The air filter's right here. Remove the air filter assembly. The carburetor will lift off. Loosen the choke cable. Flip out the choke cable. Bend the choke cable so it exposes the front. Push the cable forward and remove the cable. Remove the fuel lines. Just remember where you pulled them off. The old carburetor comes off. Install the carburetor in reverse order. The fuel line from the tank goes on to the heavier post. The return line goes on to the thinner post. Insert the throttle cable. Just put it right in here and latch it. Push the cable into place. Put the carburetor flat and tighten up that bolt. The cable's snug now. Make sure the gasket's in place. Set the carburetor down. Reinsert. The carburetor bolts. Turn them in hand tight. Snug the bolts up but not too tight. Put in the new air filter. Put the cover back on. Tighten everything up. Pump the fuel in. Give it a pull.
with the new carburetor, it's running great.